All right, good morning. This video is going to show you how to set up a single slope laser, how to orient it, and how to slope it, how to calculate the slope and orientation so that you can catch, uh, so that you can catch a hole, do a slope to plane. And in this case, I've got that should be five percent. I think right four divided by eighty, that's five percent, and then uh, ten divided by a hundred is. That is not 80%, that would be 10%, all right? And there's the 3D model, so that's what we got. So this is where I drew it. It's a sloping, this is a set, set of point, sloping out down and away, and then down and away. Let's go into 3D model space. <clears throat> and that's what we got. Let me double check, make sure this is right. That's four, that's 10, that's 100. So there's 10% and four, percent so what we need to do is set up I could have just drawn it in there but we need to find a, a direction where we can point across this plane that is perpendicular it has a line perpendicular to it that is level so it's really simple right no complicated uh, curves or anything so uh, to calculate that we need to catch uh, Perpendicular. So this this elevation here is I'm going to show it to you right here. The difference in elevation from this point is four. So we need to find that that level line four that goes across and connects with this line right here. All right. So somewhere along that. In fact, I'm just going to draw it H like that, and I'm going to cut it and show you that dimension. And I'll show you how to calculate that dimension. So it's 40 away, convenient, all right, nice even number. That's why I use the, the even percentages. So to calculate that, I'm gonna just draw it here how, how it would uh, look in 2D. So we're gonna go, let's actually put it in 2D. Uh, hold on, let me go back to 3D and place this in a con control alt, uh, control A, control H, enter and then point relative to the origin at zero. That might make it draw a little better, All right? And then so the drawing will actually end up in the, drawing always goes to the zero Z. And we wanna draw V, point relative, four, All right? And H. We're going to go down four from there. And there the H over oh, it intersects here like that. That'll be 40 also. So it's so showing 60. Oh, because I'm going the wrong way, huh? Yep, opposite. Opposite day. I'll just do this. Flip it. from the corner H to there so I gotta calculate that as you go four you be so we have this triangle that we're looking for right here uh, let's make this in green H along here right So this is a right triangle right there. And then we have this, we know that's four. And we don't have this, right? That's the unknown. That is a bright green. And then, so we have this slope, and the slope here is 10. So we're gonna go, how about this? 
we know the slope of the t formula would be that uh, slope would be point one times x equals four. The one and that would be a multiply one point one times x, and then we're just going to do four divided by point one, and that'll give us uh, forty, right? that's your first calculation now we have you got to go along this line all right there uh, I think I missed it enter some remnant or something there right. so now we have a right triangle here this green right triangle and let's just do another one on the side Put back in 2D. So if we know that 80, that's given, and we know this now because we just calculated that. And I'm gonna uh, what we're looking for is the triangle that's going across here, V. Let's change that to uh, dark orange. Uh, and I can't. Yeah, J A ninety. So uh, no, orange is going to work uh, kind of off green. We're going in that direction. So we're looking for this leg now let me see so we've got this we're looking for this so we can calculate the slope so we got the angle uh, and we're gonna let's so let's run this out this we don't have much information on this one yet except we do know this angle because it's the same as this one right if this triangle this right here this angle is a common angle for this triangle the big one and this smaller triangle so this angle is equal to that angle right uh, so the ratios they're similar the ratio of this one and this one and this one here will all be the same and we know that this one is similar because this angle right is complementary to that just like this one so this angle this angle and yeah it's the same angle for the big triangle they're the same so what we're looking for now is the, uh, orientation. So we want this dimension here. You can pick it from the other side. But, uh, we're looking for this one. So we're looking for that dimension. We don't know it yet. But the ratio of this triangle is the same. So I'm going to do the algebra so you can see. So no trig. 40. Because it's not an instrument that shoots angles. So that I'm not going to do 40. Uh, control Z 40 divided by 80 equal to this unknown over the run of this one so it's over 100 right so X over 100 right, and just uh, multiply this by 100 for That'd be 0.5 times 100 to give you 50, and that's the number we were looking for. Okay. So now you've got a location where to point that at where I on a run. So now you take your gun sights that are on the, in the laser, the single slope laser, and point it toward this direction. Now we need the slope. And this, it's the same triangle again. So what we're going to do is we're looking for this dimension, right, without trig. Uh, so we have the diagonal 
And we also have this diagonal. We've got to calculate this diagonal. Let's go back to green for a second. Uh, tools calculator square root of 80 squared plus 40 squared. Put that, copy it, and compute it. Control V, equals. V, enter. That's how you get this dimension. All right, now I'm going to run that decimal out a couple places. I'm going to use it to calculate the calculations and get better. So 4427 matches. And then, uh, so now what we're looking for is uh, we're looking for the run. We have the diagonal. So the diagonal divided by the run will be the ratio of this triangle. So we're going to go. So the diagonal here is 40 over x is equal to it's the same ratio as 89.47, 4 Two seven over eighty. So the algebra will look like uh, like that. So forty times the inverse of that. equals x equals eighty nine point four four so eight divided by that eight divided by eighty nine point four four two times forty It doesn't sound right, does it? 8 divided by 44 times 40. Sure looks like the calculation. It just didn't come up right. I don't think that's 3, right? Well, I did something wrong, right? So one of these is 8. Where did 8 come from? 80. Yeah, that's where it came from. Control V. 80. 40 divided by X. <laughs> is equal to 89. This over 80. Yeah, it was missing it by a decimal point. 80. Copy. Compute. Control V. Copy that. So I can put that down there just to make sure. Control V. And that is for this one, right? So those match up now now we have another triangle let's do this one in uh, make it in black 
got the, this dimension here. E. Distance is unknown, right? No, we do know that dimension. That's four, right? Right here. It's already on four, right? So we know the distance here is four. This line is four uh, units lower than the instrument because it's is level and that's four inches lower, and so is that. So that's the what we're looking for is this triangle now. We know that's four. And we know this is 35.5771. And we have this length. So with this triangle, V, J, S, V, J, same distance as two points D this one right here same distance as these two points J S J doesn't do it same distance as two points oh you know what I can do can snap to that. I've got to do this a few times. Okay, so that's the same distance. J, same angle as two points, same distance. This one. And then you just snap it to there. And then J A A. And we're going to do this, V, J, S, so we don't know this dimension, but we do know this dimension, so that this length of that would be 50 squared, the square root of 50 squared plus 100 squared, right? And that would give us this dimension right here. Showing the steps in case you don't have a computer, you're not familiar with the, the <clears throat> calculations. So we have the run. This this is the plan view. That so this is that same dimension there, and we have the unknown here. But it's the same as this triangle here, so <clears throat> four divided by thirty five point seven 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 is equal to uh, the rise, which is x over one one one. 803, right? 8034. And that was 1, right? So then we're just going to take, x is already on the right side, so we're just going to do that math right there, tools calculator. 111.8034 times 4 divided by 35.7771. And that would be the calculation for the rise on that copy. And then control V equals that would be for this one right here. All right. And that's uh twelve point five. 
So that's how you do it. And then you just get your level line mark, you know, wherever your pole is, get your 12 feet up and then, or 12 foot six up from that laser mark. And then you would uh, drop the, you would tell the laser to go down that amount and you could eyeball it or you could do the ratio. So, I mean, uh, not eyeball it, there's an eye button where the, the laser will track and lock its slope to your eye, the, the laser eye receiver or you can calculate the slope so let's just do that real quick we're going to go 12.5 divided by 111.8034 control c and we compute and we're looking at control v equals we're looking at 11 percent copy uh, I want to say that 12.5 12 divided by 11 that's 11% 11 that seems uh, unusual because it seems like it would be less couldn't be more than either one of those I got 10% and 4% but maybe I'm wrong let's look at the 3D model and see control V that should be that right 12.5 divided by, yeah, that would give you, at least the math is right. Let's look at the 3D model and see. The so, 50. So 6.379, two calculator, just tangent, 6.379, it's 11.18, so it is, it's 11, so it's actually more, it's just kind of interesting, you'd think on a hip on a roof it's less than the actual pitch uh, of either side, this is maybe some sort of opposite thing that's going on. All right, anything else I can add to that? Yeah, so set it up and then double check and make sure you're shooting 10% and 4%, all right? And then let me double check this. I don't know, it just seems odd to me that that would be more than, oh yeah, I guess it would because this is 10% and this is lower. Uh, let's see if we can zoom around that a little bit. You don't know, well, you don't know until you try to teach somebody, right? And then. Yeah, see, see, this is that line is six point. Uh, that's twelve and a half. Here it's ten. So yeah, obviously, the it is steeper here than it is there. And it'd be uh, let's see. So there's the slope. Yeah. So make sure if you set it up that way that you're checking to see what your accuracy is. You could get lucky and it can be right on, but there's going to be some bust. But this would be for rough grade. Uh, and it would be faster than a total station because you can well not a robotic total station obviously, but uh, you could get some grade work done with this. You could put the receiver right on the vehicle, or right on the dozer or whatever equipment you're using, and you could get a really fast, rough cut. Because uh, all this way, all they'd have to do is come up in one direction with the slope that matches your slope here, the 4%, and just run back and forth, and you would have a really... Uh, or you know whatever the four percent one way you have they could push the dirt four percent be really 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 close uh that's like a poor man's machine control that would work pretty good well uh, you know there's a little setup here i'm not sure i don't know the the video's taken maybe 20 minutes but uh it would only take you five minutes to do the calculations and then <clears throat> I did everything without trigs so that you could just measure it out since you're using an instrument like the laser, the single slope laser, 
it's just a gun sight on there. It doesn't help you to know how to many degrees to turn. And then the slope here, I'm showing it's a 6.37, but that's why I calculated the slope too. It would be, I'm not sure if I put it down, yeah, which is equal to 11.8. Something percent, right? Yeah, and then that's it, All right? And then the, the, you gotta know too the point one percent that those most of those lasers go point one percent is very accurate, but at a hundred feet, it's still half an inch or uh, point. You could be point zero 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 point zero zero one, so it'd be point zero 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 four. Let's say it didn't round up or down, it rounded the wrong way. That's Four hundredths and a hundred feet, so it's a half an inch at a hundred feet. The laser's probably more accurate than that, but if you're inputting the slope, that's what you're going to get. The Hilti's got a PR thirty that you put the laser eye out there, tell it what you want it to look for, and then it'll match the grade rate. But that gets a little interesting too, because then you have to buck it in with the instrument on the plane then calculate, you know what I mean? So anyway, there's some stuff that goes on there, but this would work extremely well for, like I said, uh, dual slope, single slope laser. And I hope that helps you understand the geometry and the calculations required to do, uh, to do uh, single slope laser on a dual slope plane. Thanks for watching.